What up YouTube, Asia Persuasion here, Team DKF, here with our boy Slim, and here with the top 32 duelists. What's your name and what'd you play? Uh, Justin Tam, and I played like metal, metal foe with like some spicy tech. Alright man, let's get into spicy it. Spicy I like spicy tech, man. Alright, so start off just the three, three gold driver, the three steel end, three bull flame, or, oh, sorry, the silver, three steel end, and I only played uh, two Bisma gear because I have I have a way to search more 8 scale, so I didn't, felt like I didn't really need this one because you can't pendulum it out. Yeah. But like, it's useful because you pop with combination and you uh, you basically set up so you get to search on the end phase and set up a full metal full fusion. Yeah. And then uh, of course the three Mabukus and the f or sorry the three Mabukus and the Kirin. This card's broken. Every time you open it, you Man. basically win. Card's good. Uh, and then three Gofu. Uh, Gofu is broken. If you play any less than three, you're probably just wrong. Yeah, I agree. Uh, three Archfiends is like you open up more consistently, so you can like pop combinations and also like clear problem back rows, like for, for every strikes. Except usually it's barrier, but yeah, usually it's barrier. sometimes it's strike. <laughs> uh, of course, the one luster. Because it's luster. Uh, I decided to main deck two Maxis. Uh, I was having a lot of problems playing with my friends earlier before the tournament. They're playing uh, ABCs, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be able to break a board if they made the Sukiyomi Buster Dragon. So I felt like I needed a card that would either, either give me more chances to break the them. board or they would just stop, which means I could play because Buster Dragon is really hard to deal with in this deck. Yeah, game. makes sense. And then my spicy tech is Ye Scout Pay and eight. Monolith. Yes! Pay so, 8 feels great, baby. <laughs> funny enough, the, my <laughs> friends who I was losing to, they're playing they're playing Galaxy ABC. Yeah. So I was like, hey, I keep losing to Infinity Buster, so I'm going to just make Infinity myself to try and beat them. Nice. And this is great because, like, it just usually, like, two, you can have, like, two sort of, like, trap monsters, and Infinity Kirin is impossible to get over. Yeah, sure. I agree. How many times would you say you opened Infinity, or at least uh, made it during made the tournament? I made it probably at least, like, five or six times. Nice. Like, That's it's pretty good, really, right? It's, like, really broken. And it was just pretty much sealed the game. Yeah, well, like, they look at it, they're like, they try and play one card, and then they try yeah. and bait it out, and you're like, all right, I'm going to wait for the real play. Yep. And then they make the real play and use out it with Kieran and Infinity and they scoop. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And of course I played three desires. Gotta play three if you play you just gotta see it, because like if they have desires and you don't have desires, then you feel like you're just losing. Yep. Says draw two. Yep. <laughs> uh, three summers art lets you open uh, Infinity more consistently. Just four scouts also could be both in sometimes if you wanna make like big Alcahes and big Alcahes Kieran boards. And one fusion. Uh, of course, you can put in the deck, and only one full metal full fusion, just because uh, I was trying to cut space, and I tried to play two for a while, and I kept opening it, and it just made my hands a lot less play. Yeah. And I played two painful decision. I felt like I didn't need the three, just because I, I played some design as well. And only traps I played were count one counter, one combination. Uh, some people weren't playing counter at all, but like right. counter is like. It, it, it's pretty good. It just yeah. helps you grind out a little further because people thought this one was just like dice roll. You make a board, you win. But sometimes like the game actually extends to the point where this pays off. Like because you bring out a wolf flame, then you have fodder for next turn yeah. to make uh, a mithrilian, which just starts baits, baits a lot of stuff out before you pendulum your whole, yeah. basically your graveyard, which is your extra deck. Uh -huh. And this, of course, just for Archfiend centric, just to complete your scales. And bad news. Yes. 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 How many cards in the main? Forty-two. Forty-two. Nice. Uh, Any changes you'd make to the main deck? Or? Probably not. Like, it worked out very very well, it was very consistent. I never opened, like, I opened just two desires like once, but. Yeah, that was only bad times. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, token. <laughs> Extra deck, one Adamant, uh, one Aura Calc, two Mithriliums, just had to make space because of, like, Infinity and stuff like that, so I just cut the third. Yeah. Uh, two Alkis, they they had a really, uh, I think it was the incorrect ruling this event where Alkis and first ABC Dragon and Alkis would actually lose. So like if you tried to suck their ABC Dragon and they would chain, chain it chain, to yeah. banish it, you wouldn't get it, which I think is actually incorrect. That sounds weird. But like yeah, it made this card a lot worse. But I mean like it's still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, one Zulkin, one Crystal, and actually made this a lot. Nice. Mm -hmm. And. One scrap dragon. This was like MVP? my this <laughs> it, it, maybe not MVP, but like it okay. just it, it like baits back rows, like baits their barrier. Yeah. Gets it gets rid of anti spell. And yeah, it makes it so I can save this card for later. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, one vermilion. I actually didn't. I made this once, maybe, and it was just to like pop my own combination. But that, yeah. that was it. Like it's good. It's got to play it, but I didn't make it a lot. Break sword. Yo, this card's broken. Yes, sir. It's like bait, same thing. Bait more back row, and then in the metal from here, it's really important to clear their scales, so like they can't pendulum. So this is really important to do at the end of your play. Uh, totem bird. <laughs> I, I made it once. It's like my fifteenth action that card. <laughs> And then, of course, the spicy Nova and Infinity. Nice. Get that package. Awesome. Broken. All right. Side deck. All right. Uh, side. Uh, three retaliating C. This is match. supposed to be for Metal Foe. But Mirror. Yeah, going second. Like but, like, I just didn't draw it. Yeah. I, I won most of my Metal Foe Mirror matches. The only one I lost to was to Adam of uh, Team Jobber. I lost to him, like, in the last round. Uh, but, yeah, like, it's supposed to be good. Everyone says it's a blowout. I, I didn't draw it. Two Denko Rekkas, <laughs> basically just to like destroy Paleozoics. Yeah, it was great. Uh, Among Us, usually for like the hero decks or like the Toad. Yeah. Sometimes for ABC, I don't know. I, I saw my opponent like wasn't taking out his ABC, so I decided to say that it worked. Nice. <laughs> uh, only the two system downs. I didn't want to play three just because this is a card you can draw with your sixth card. And you never want to see more than one of those because it just like it doesn't help. It's not a combo piece, of course. Yeah. So like, in a six card hand, I can draw this, but like, for retaliating C, I have to see this in my five card hand going second. So that's why I play three of those and two of that. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, two cosmic cyclones, same idea. With, with playing only two of this, like use it for anti spell, but like you, you only want to see yeah, one because like you've seen more than more than one, then your hand's just pretty bad. Uh, Rugeki, Dark Hole. This was supposed to be for uh, Dark Lords, but I didn't play any Dark Lords, so didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. And I decided two strikes just for. It was for a lot. It's just like going first. Like, say, Impensive I didn't need matches. the maxis in my main, so I just I would take it out for strikes. All right, that's sure, man. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to, to my friends. Team Dat YGO, check out our YouTube channel. All right, man, put it down there in the description for <laughs> you. And uh, shout out to all my friends, my friend, my team, at my Edmonton crew, uh, Sean, Seville, Justin. All right. uh, they all helped me like test this deck. Shout out to my boys, uh, Jimmy and Kevin over there. Hey guys, <laughs> hey. you guys get a shout out. Hey. Yeah, shout out to all my friends back home in Calgary as well. All right, awesome. sure, man. Congrats on getting the top 32, and thanks for your deck profile. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.